Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do independent suspension from start to finish. But as a disclaimer, I am going to be using all S props, so if you do not have that downloaded, I'd recommend going and getting the SVN for that. Alright, so moving on. We're going to be spawning a 48 by 144 plate to start off with. Make sure that is north to south, which it is not. There we go. And we're going to go into transportation, and I'm going to spawn size 30 wheels, but you can spawn any size you want. This tutorial will work for any size wheel, or any size base plate for that matter. Alright, so we're going to move these wheels onto the plate. Do that for all four wheels. Alright, now that we got those on there, we're going to uncheck push slash pull as percent, and I'm going to change the numerical value to 5. We're going to move these wheels out by 5. And we're going to change numerical value of push slash pull to 15. Press R to move the plate up. And before we do anything else, I'm going to make the wheels make spherical. Do that to all four wheels. And now we're going to move into precision alignment. Hopefully some of you have a little bit better understanding of this um, tool from my previous tutorial, but if not, I'm going to recap it again here. Alright, so this column right here is the only column we will need to pay attention to. The column to the right of it doesn't matter, and these this line column down here does not matter at all. So, point mass center, that's what we're going to be using for the wheels because we want the center of the wheel. Point 0.1 on the right wheel, and we're going to select point 0.4 for the left wheel. Now we're going to make the point hit position, because we do not need the center of the base plate, we just need the points on it. So point 0.2, we're going to put that on the very tip of the base plate. Point 0.3, we're going to put that on the center of the base plate. And now we're going to open the menu with R, go over to constraints tab, go to ropes, make sure rigid is checked, you can change the width to whatever you want. So we're going to select point 1 for entity 1, entity 2 we're going to select point 2. So what this will do, we'll attach a rope from point 1 which is the wheel to point 2 which is the base plate. So we're going to create constraint. And now for entity 2, we're going to change point 2 to point 3, so, so the wheel attaches to the third point on the plate. Create constraint. Now since those two ropes are attached, we are going to change point 1 of entity 1 to point 4, so we select the second wheel. And we're going to attach the point from point 4 to point 2. So create constraint, point 4 to point 3 create constraint and our rigid ropes are done for those two wheels we're going to do the exact same thing for the back wheels so to make this a little bit cleaner we're going to press delete all it's going to delete the points but not the ropes so we're going to go into point mass center again number one on the right wheel number four on the left wheel Point two, we're going to change it back to point hit position. Point two on the tip of the base plate. Point three into the center of the base plate. And we're going to do the exact same thing we just did. So point one to point two, point one to point three, point four to point two, point four to point three, making sure those are rigid. Now we're going to do the limiter for the suspension so it does not fall through the suspension and the wheels stay in a decent spot. 
So we're going to move the suspension up by 5. And we're going to select the rope tool because we did not need precision alignment for this. Make sure rigid is not checked. Select the center of the wheel and select the point straight above it. Do that for all four wheels. Alright, and after we have that done, we're going to use the precision tool again to nudge it back down by five. Alright, so this is where the elasticity of the suspension comes in. So we're just going to spawn any plate, does not matter. We're just going to be placing the hydraulics on this plate. So once you have the wire hydraulic tool selected, it does not matter where you place these hydraulics, just make sure you line them up as, as the entities are square. Just makes it a little bit easier. So precision alignment, we're going to delete all those points. We're going to go back into S-Props plates and spawn these little single plates. Just place them next to the wheel for easy access. Now we're going to go back into precision, select the move, and just place these right on top of the wheels. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the hydraulics to these to these plates, but we are going to end up deleting the plates, so that's where precision alignment comes in. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.